Germans are fleeing South America amid threats of vaccine mandates and citing mass Muslim migration as the main compelling factor to relocate to a whole new continent. Right guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is an issue that's pretty close to me actually. I myself, yeah, as if you haven't noticed from the foliage here, um, I am in South America. I've been here a long time. Um, I know German communities here. And I just wanna say, if you're a German fleeing Germany uh, for South America, you should get in contact with me. There's uh, various support networks. Uh, I'll give you the ins and outs of life down here. It's fairly easy to uh, integrate and stay true to your culture and your roots so let me know down below well contact me down below there's a links there and uh, just let me know what your plans are how long you've been here how you're finding it what your difficulties are and so on and so forth but anyway the reason that this video is coming out now is to do with a recent BBC article I'll call it a hit piece on Germans relocating to Paraguay. Now there's German communities all throughout South America. Even here I am in Medellin, uh, there's a substantial German stock uh, can be found there. And uh, in the capital, you've got various schools. There's one big one that is just like a German school back home. So anyway, um, let's carry on with this hit piece, okay? Um, the lead is Paraguay is seeing a surge in German migrants fleeing Islamic migrants <clears throat> in their own country and onerous coronavirus restrictions. Now, the hit piece leads on pretty much with Germans bemoaning that they, 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 they look a little bit like conspiracy theorists and I think the BBC likes that because it sort of plays into the whole um, anti-vaxxer narrative that they've got going. Um, we'll get past that because they're obviously fleeing. Um, that, that was like the final straw, um, potential mandates in Germany. We know that the mandates came through in Austria. Actually, compulsory vaccination is is a big one okay so anyway they left citing that as the main reason the final straw um, but later in, into the interview and I'll post a link to the BBC article down below where you can watch the full length hit piece um, it pretty much <laughs> almost um, by coincidence goes straight on to these Muslims there's a German family there bemoaning Muslim migration mass Muslim migration and the guy's right um later on there's a late oh, he he talks about his his um his issues with muslim migration and he's entirely right um he just got a little girl there little blonde little girl his wife's next to him um and he pretty much says that that's not germany is not a place that he wants his children to grow up in his child to grow up in and i don't blame him he cites that south america is a christian um, has a Christian culture much like Germany has or used to have um, and he's pretty much saying rightly so that he's feeling at home there pretty much he's he's finding it as a compatible place for him to migrate to um, his wife when he starts talking about um, Muslim mass Muslim migration into Germany his wife gets a bit scared and tries to hush him up he says that he doesn't want it included he wants it scrubbed from the interview but um, given that this is a hit piece by the BBC they just go ahead and put it straight right on in there later on the Latin American journalist for the BBC um, interviews a lady called Hannah she doesn't want her face shown she kind of knows what the BBC is up to with the mainstream media and all that so she doesn't want her face shown and she basically says it how it is um, 
German girls are being raped en masse, uh, har harassed, hounded because they're not conforming to Muslim cultural norms in Germany, in their own country. And this is true, I can, I can vouch for that. Um, from small towns, from where I come from in Germany, um, girls in schools have been told not to wear dresses or skirts anymore. They're having to cover up to appease their new, um, their new population, their new neighbours. Um, and the German authorities bust them out en, in millions, en masse, to centres, not in cities, um, not in urban cities, although urban cities are bad enough, they bust them straight out into German rural communities, fragile communities, um, We've already dwindling numbers of Germans and faith and so on been under attack and like the father before he was saying that um, they're very provocative and they're coming with all their ignorances and their cultural incompatibilities into Germany by the diktat of their German government by Angela Merkel inviting them en masse and subsequently politicians, elitists just looking to drive it even further. So anyway, um, this woman, she goes out and out and the reporter rather annoyingly tries to slander her with the racist term, to which she pretty much does a good defense on it. Um, if you've got any questions, if you're doubting at all about Muslim crime, immigration crime, immigrant crime in Germany and what it's doing to the German communities in Germany itself um, there is a very good project it's called the Einzelfalls Info which is basically um, a painstaking uh, job by these people working on the project to document out all the crimes the sexual assaults the child molestations the rapes the, the violent crimes the stabbings the shootings the terrorist attacks um, I'll put a link to that down below and um, they pinpoint it on the Google map. You can see it as a spreadsheet. It is meticulously referenced to official reports by the police and local agent news agencies. Um, so if you're in any doubt as to the effects of mass migration into Germany with Merkel's friends, um, I'd encourage you to check that link out. Um, for you Germans coming over here, yes, you'll find a Christian culture, Christian norms, monocultures here pervade all throughout society um, these people here they might look different but they have a monoculture one language one faith pretty much although they are d different denominations one faith um, one cultural norm one language cuisine is very similar it's a monoculture just like what Germany used to have before you fled so I think you'll find it very easy here. The only difficulty might be the language, although it is based in Latin. Um, you'll find it fairly easy to pick up. Um, and I'll help you out with any communities. Um, we've got a, I've got a good, strong community here in uh, South America that, I, that I'm embedded in. Um, and fellow Germans that are arriving, new, as well as the old who have visited Germany, have said, have all agreed on the situation and the crisis that is um, fully encircling German society back home. So let me know anyway, get, get in contact with me, um, leave a comment or make a direct message to me. I get a lot, of, a lot of emails from you guys watching me, but I'll prioritize the ones from my German expats fresh arriving in Latin America. I'll leave it there. Stay tuned for announcement. Much love. Hello, what are you doing there? Oh, what am I doing? I'm just taking some time out to post exclusive content to my Telegram channel. You're welcome to join. There's a link down below in the description or just do a search for inverted podcast in your Telegram app. It's free. You get direct access to me. There's uh, exclusive live streams, on the spot videos, discussions, polls. Uh, funny memes, news, breaking news, all that kind of stuff. It's all here for free. 
um, and what's best is you get direct access to me so head over there now links down below inverted podcast in the telegram app and subscribe i see you there head over there now go down go down go down to the description telegram inverted podcast 